Hey, good morning, friends and family. I just want to pray for um, some of you this morning. The Bible says that for this reason was the Son of God made manifested um, so that he would destroy the works of the devil. I believe that there um, is an assignment and manifestation of witchcraft that is operating in the lives of so many of us believers that God wants to destroy. Specifically this morning, the Lord, he showed me um, that there are many of us that are operating not out of the peace of God. Matter of fact, we're operating in, 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 in worry, confusion, stress, torment, because there's witchcraft operating over our life, specifically in relationship to people who we are allowing to prophesy, lay hands, who we're praying with, um, um, people who are giving us prophetic utterances. There, there are ministers, thank you, Holy Spirit, there are ministers of witchcraft and some of them don't even know that they're operating in witchcraft, which is why I'm not going to say that they're witches and warlocks. I'm not going to go that far in extreme like some of you do. Some of them don't even know they're operating in witchcraft. Some of them, thank you, some of them are inexperienced ministers and they have a zeal of the Lord and they don't even realize that they're operating out of a place of emotionalism. And so nonetheless, there are some of you, there are words that have been spoken over you. There are prophecies that have been spoken over you. There are utterances in the name of prophetic counsel and advice that's been spoken over you and it actually brought you into a state of witchcraft, the manifestation being that of confusion and torment. You, you see, you were in peace, but now that you got prayed for, you're actually in torment. That's not how it's supposed to be. When you, when listen, when you come out of a prayer call or an altar call or a prayer line, or when you come out of a prophetic word, it's not supposed to bring an atmosphere in your heart of confusion and fear and torment. The devil is a liar. And so we just want to break the power of witchcraft. And, the, and I don't need you to do anything. The only thing you have to do, if this bears witness with your spirit, is just receive. Okay? So, Father, we just thank you even now for your word and for your spirit. Now, Lord, we pray, God, that the power of witchcraft, however it came, whether it was through prayer, prophecy, counsel, preaching, sermons, whatever, we pray, God, that the spirit of witchcraft that has bewitched your people and their mind would be broken, that has literally caused the peace of God to vanish. Your word says, God, that the kingdom of God is peace joy and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. And so Lord, we command the spirit of witchcraft and confusion to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Leave right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of confusion, leave right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of fear. Thank you. Spirit of fear that has literally arrested the people when they're trying to speak up to say, I don't know about this. I don't know if I received this, but there's a spiritual intimidation because of the person that is speaking to you. That spirit of fear leave in Jesus name. Father, we thank you that every spirit that does not come from you, that has come through witchcraft and intimidation, that has even come through charismatic witchcraft. We thank you that those spirits are finding their exit right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, some of you, you're just going to praise and you're just going to worship. May the Lord literally just remove that cloud. It's like there's a cloud of confusion that's over your mind that came as a result. See, that's what witchcraft does. When you allow witchcraft to speak over you or when you receive it even unknowingly, it's like this cloud that it's over you and, 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 and it hinders your ability to discern the Holy Spirit. And some of you, you haven't been discerning the Holy Spirit again because you don't sense the peace of God. Why? Because that witchcraft needs to be broken. And so right now, allow the Holy Spirit to refill you. Allow him to restore peace, calmness and rest in your spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Allow him to just pour out a fresh anointing over your mind in the name of Jesus. 
And I believe that after this prayer, I believe that after you receive this, you'll start, you know, sensing the activity and the flow of the Holy Spirit. But when, when, when you're under witchcraft, it's like there's this wall in this ceiling. You can't discern God. You can't hear God. It's like your mind, thank you, Holy Spirit, is thrown into a state of chaos. Ha! But we thank you that the Lord is restoring your mind to peace in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you may just need to repent. Repent and say, Lord, forgive me for receiving witchcraft in my life. And ask the Lord, fill me with the spirit of discernment so that I may be able to recognize by the gift of the Holy Spirit that which is of the spirit, which is of the flesh, and which is of the kingdom of darkness. Make that your prayer right now in the name of Jesus. And I come into agreement that the Lord will sharpen that spiritual skill. We all need it in this hour because we're living in the hour of deception. And as I told you, there are individuals who mean well, but they're inexperienced and they're giving prophetic utterances that are not coming out of the origin of the Holy Ghost, but it's coming out of their emotions. And any prophecy that comes out of your emotion can tend to lean into error fanaticism and witchcraft. Ha! But we thank you. We thank the Lord right now that that power of witchcraft is broken off of you, okay? Friends and family, go with the peace of the Lord. Go with the joy of the Lord, okay? Go with the rest of God in your spirit. Do you feel the rest of the Lord in your spirit? Not chaos, not confusion, but peace and rest in your soul and in your spirit. God bless.